Hi guys, and welcome back to, to, to my channel and today we're going to do some more yoga and today we're going to be doing the lotus pose, the downward dog, the chest stand or, or the bow pose and we're going to be doing some stretches with our legs today. So let's get started. <sighs> going to first start with the yoga pose. Lotus flower. And now that you've done lotus flower, we're going to hold it for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Release. And again, but this time we're going to try and do it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Now we're going to do it, we're going to stretch our legs for a little bit after that. And now we're going to try downward dog. So basically you're going to stand up very tall and come onto your one side and spread your hands and fingers out really wide and you can really feel the pull of the back of your legs and you can also feel a kind of pull that can sometimes hurt so we're going to hold this for 15 seconds one two, three, four. Now I'm going to show you a new pose that I have just done today and it's called the chest stand or the bow pose. So one, two, three. Okay, well done. And two. One foot, another foot, hold it, one, and release, and do it again, this time I'm going to do it this way, and one, two, three, Pulling your back. Release. And this time we're going to reach our legs again, but this time we're going to hold it for 15 seconds. One, two, three. One, leg, other leg. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Release. Now we are going to do the candle, or as I like to call it. Well, before we do the candle, we're going to do a different one. Get your legs all bent. Put one leg underneath your other leg so it looks like this. Then you're gonna take your arm behind your back and reach for your for the side of your body. Then put your other arm under and you should really feel a stretch. If you wanna really challenge yourself then try and get your other hand all the way across to the other side of the body, near the thigh. And then release. 
And we're gonna try this one now. We're gonna try uh, this one. So put your arms in between your knees and let your hands be super wide. Ready? Go! One. Uh, uh, release. And now, I think maybe we need to stretch our toes and our legs and let them have a rest for a minute. Now, we're gonna let our arms be fit and strong by doing some arm stretches. And we're gonna hold this for 25. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Stop. Now the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. Now, we're gonna do a new pose today, which is this one. Make your knees bent. Put both of your hands inside of your legs. Put one, let one hand get out for a minute and let you be on your feet. Put your hand back under and do this. Now move, once you put your arm back in, you're going to slide your feet, I mean your hands, near your bottom. And then you're just going to sit there. Let your legs be like this. Okay, and release. Now this one we're going to lie down for. We're going to do this. Do the bridge like you normally would. Push your legs up. Now, take both hands and place it under your bum. Let your feet be wide. Lift your head and put your head back so that it's like a fish. So you should have a really big stretch uh, on your neck. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our legs be drowsy and now sit back up and ah, and get your legs all relaxed <laughs> again. Right. Now we're gonna try the um oh yeah now we're gonna try the pigeon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one leg in front stand up for a minute and go down move your leg back a bit and sit down you should really feel the pull in your chest i mean your legs as you spread it out even more and more and stretching you can really feel the pull at the back of your legs all the way down now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our left leg or whatever leg is behind you come up from behind and then we're gonna put our right hand or left hand in behind us to keep us stable now lift your leg grab it so it looks like this really straight and then you're gonna hold that and you should feel a type of pull like at the back of your leg here and we're gonna do the same for the other leg like this so it should look like this but you can let your leg drowsy for a bit if it's starting to ache, can release. Now, we're going to...
gonna do some little bits of hand warming and today we're also gonna do the tree and just as a feeling I felt like we could do the tree today so you grab one of your feet legs rather and it should be right next up next to your thigh put your hands above your head hold it for five count one two three four five okay well done I'll release that now what we're gonna do is we're now gonna do it but first we've got to take our left leg and we're going to tuck it up on the right thigh then you put your right leg underneath so you should end up with a triangle pose slitting down and put one hand through put the other hand through and pull your leg so tight let your other leg go loose this now try and get the other leg up at the same time and then we're gonna let our arms be loose but we've got to try and make our arms get out. So hold one of your legs. Now we're gonna stay like this without touching the floor. Now release. Again, we're gonna do the bonus one again. And this time we're gonna do the chest stand again. So you should actually be feeling a pull right here, up in this part of the leg, because that part of the leg is quite like a, a leg. Anyway, I'm talking too much, aren't I? Anyway, and you're gonna lie down again, and then push, pull, put all your weight in stirring this up. Now release. Okay, again, again and push one and release thanks for watching guys hope you liked it see you in my next video bye